Hi and hello dear friends, welcome back once again to our channel Vage Academy of Mathematics and this playlist is where you can find video lessons for CAT, MAT and other management exams. So this session we have a nice problem from the concept of geometry and mensuration. We are going to try that problem. Let's see what is the problem which is with us. So here our question is, there is a triangle ABC. So here you can see the figure, a triangle ABC is there and given in this triangle out of these three vertices A, B and C, given this angle, angle B is given to be 60 degrees. This is mentioned in the figure itself. Next is, we are given the other data. What is the data? So we are given side AB is equal to 12 centimeters. So that is this side. This side AB is going to be 12 centimeter in this triangle. Next is side BC, BC also they are given here. Side BC is equal to 15 centimeter. Okay, BC is here. So we can take this BC to be the base of the triangle, right? So that means this base of this triangle is going to be 15 centimeter. I mean, as of now, as we look as it is here, uh, the, this figure is looking here, the base is looking like the side BC only, right? That base is given to be 15 centimeter in the question. So what we are asked to find is find the area of this triangle ABC. So we are supposed to find the area of this triangle and we have the options. So we are going to work out this question only for this uh, session and if you see this is going to be a very basic question only of course so from the concept of uh, area of triangles so what uh, approach we are going to use here to solve this problem that's what we are going to see now yes yeah let's start to solve the problem so let's see the given uh, diagram first of all if you see here we have this triangle ABC and we have two of the sides are given right okay 12 centimeter and 15 centimeter two sides are given here and next is we have this one of this angles is given to be 60 degrees so this is what is given here so let's try to first solve this problem in a conventional way then later we try to do the same problem with a shortcut also okay so shortcut also we'll try to solve it okay yes so first we'll try it with a conventional way right okay so basically what is area of a triangle area of a triangle is going to be half into base into height so this is going to be the basic formula to find the area of a triangle now here if you see we are ready available with the base is it or not so here for our views the base is going to be how much it is it is going to be the side bc only so it's going to be 15 centimeter i'm writing it 15 and what about this height so what about height of this triangle so we have to see the height also right so height in the sense from the other vertex a we have to drop a line in such a way that this line should be perpendicular to our base BC. So this way we have to drop a, uh, a vertical line. I have just uh, represented through a dotted line here. And this measure is what you call it to be the height of this triangle. So as of now, we don't have the height of this triangle. Now we have to calculate it and only then we can just get the height of this triangle. And using that, we can find the area of this triangle. This is going to be the plan. Fine. Okay. Now let us see what are the methods or what approach we can use here in order to find that missing height so that alone we have to worry about it okay for that i'm going to do a plan here just see this triangle okay so we have seen this abc triangle right now i have just dropped a perpendicular here right and let me just name this point to be point d i hope you are getting it the point where this perpendicular is going to meet this base bc so i'm going to take that point to be d and now we'll just consider this left hand side part of this triangle i mean this triangle a b d this left hand side portion is there right that alone we will just consider now so let me just redraw it here okay triangle a b d i'm going to redraw it here so if i try to do it i'll, I'll be getting it as triangle a b d so where this angle is going to be 60 degree so this is a this is b and this is going to be d is it or not and no doubt in that this angle is going to be a 90 degree only why because this is going to be a right angle right the place where the perpendicular is going to meet with this base that angle is definitely going to be a 90 degree only so this is also a 90 degree only now in this case this is 90 this is 60 and what about this third angle of this triangle let us just consider only this triangle alone okay so this angle a will be obviously what because we know sum of the three angles of a triangle will be obviously equal to 180 degrees so in that case here 60 here 90 so that means the third missing angle must be 30 degrees why because this sum 60 and 90 okay let me write it 90 for your clarity okay 60 plus 90 would give you 150 degrees 
and 150 plus the third missing angle will what should give us 180 degrees so that means that missing angle must be equal to 30 degrees we can easily tell that so we are completely able to form here right and that too in this case we can tell this AB this side AB is also 12 that is also given in this question so I'm just writing it here fine okay AB is 12 now you can just observe this piece of this left hand side part of the, the triangle alone we can observe here and what I'm going to do is just for a better clarity I'm just I'm just going to do I'm just going to produce a mirror image of this triangle on the right hand side okay just carefully see what I'm going to do here I'll just draw a mirror image here okay so I'm going to produce a mirror image here so that I will be getting such a triangle like this here so that means this angle will also be the same 90 degree and this angle will be the same 60 degree and this above part will be equal to 30 degree I mean the exact mirror images will be falling over here okay so that means if AB is 12 that means this side this will also be 12 only so I hope it is clear to you I'm just producing a mirror image over to the right hand side and this one I'm doing here so now clearly if you see this this entire triangle this is a what triangle just carefully observe it we just view this full triangle and we can say what triangle is this this is going to be an equilateral triangle okay why because here it is 60 here also it is 60 and here see the full angle this is 30 plus 30 and that will be also 60 so now if you look at this complete triangle this is going to be an equilateral triangle and in that case what we can tell is this full base will also be equal to the other two sides only why because in an equilateral triangle all the three sides will be equal this is already 12 and this is also 12 and this is also no doubt this will also be 12 and what about an equilateral triangle in an equilateral triangle always this height will be exactly bisecting your base okay yes it exactly bisects that is it will break your base into two equal parts so in that case this full 12 will be broken into six and six here so we are doing all these constructions for just to find this missing ad this height alone okay this is going to be a height right according to our assumption this is going to be height that same height will only be here also okay so fine yes so this will be the missing height so this height is what we are trying to find it now okay yes yeah okay now what we can do here is very simple just to find out this height is what we are doing all these steps now if you look at it we have got a right angle triangle with three sides 12 here 6 here and h here and we have also got another right angle triangle on the right hand side then also we have 12 here 6 here and h here now what we can do here is we can clearly use Pythagoras theorem so as to find the missing side okay so when we try to use Pythagoras theorem we will be getting h square plus here the base 6 square will be equal to here this side which will be 12 square all right okay I hope you are able to get this this is h square this is 6 square this is 12 square why because if you see this triangle this this portion alone or this portion alone so you can clearly observe that this is going to be the hypotenuse the 12 is going to be the hypotenuse so it's good it's going to be equal to 12 square and now we can compute it to find the value of h right so h square plus 36 is going to be 144 and so h square will be equal to I can just do minus here right 144 minus 36 so what is 144 minus 36 so we'll be getting it to be uh, 8 here and then we'll be getting it to be uh, 10 here so 108 we'll be getting h square is equal to 108 so that means we'll be getting h is equal to root of 108 so root of 108 we can factorize this root of 108 so how can you factorize it so I'll just take this space to factorize 108 so I'll be getting um, in, in uh, 6 tables I can do it right so 6 tables it will be 18 times again 6 tables it will be 3 times so that means I will be getting 108 as 6 square into 3 so that means root 108 will become 6 root 3 why because we have got a pair of 6 so 6 will come out because that 6 square will come out as 6 and root 3 will alone be here inside so we will be getting 6 root 3 as our value of the height okay yes so finally we got the height as 6 root 3 and now it will be very easy for us to find the area of this full triangle okay all these steps we are just doing just to find out the value of h you may wonder why we need to do all these steps i'm just coming out from the basics okay for you to understand is what i'm just doing all these things so since we are able to form a equilateral triangle here i'm just taking it to be all the sides to be equal and i'm just making all the sides equal and this base will be break broken into two equal parts and we have got two sides and that will help us to find the value of h using Pythagoras theorem and that's what we are doing here to find the value of h finally we are success in finding the value of h and now we can ready available we can easily find out the value of 
area of this triangle okay yes let's try so area of the triangle will be now equal to not this triangle this original triangle this is what we want right now forget about this one this all these things are just for you to find the value of h only so area is equal to half into what about our base of our triangle our original triangle in the equation so this is going to be 15 that's what we have noted here so 15 into what about height height is what just now we got it so height is going to be this height is going to be 6 root 3 okay 6 root 3 so this is what we got here so half into 15 into 6 root 3 i can just cancel this 2 and this 6 here this is exactly three times so now we will be getting 15 threes are 45 so 45 another root 3 so 45 root 3 centimeter square because we are finding out area right so the units are in terms of centimeter so area will be in terms of centimeter square square centimeter okay so that means area of our triangle is going to be 45 root 3 centimeter square is going to be the answer for this question and this is going to be a method which is going to be too conventional in solving this problem but if you feel that you are one who is strong in remembering formulas knowing formulas you can really use this cool shortcut to get the answer for the same question so let's see what formula we can use here to find the answer for this question we are asked to find the area of this triangle right so area of a triangle can also be presented as half into a b sin theta where this a and b are going to be any two sides of the given triangle and this theta is going to be the angle which is lying in between those two given sides a and b so that means we can very well use this brilliant formula to get the answer for this question very easily is it or not why because here we are given two sides a and b like 12 and 15 so 12 is one of the sides of this triangle 15 is the other side and what about theta here the theta is also given here this theta is given to be 60 degrees here is it or not why because between the sides 12 and 15 is what this theta 60 degree is lying so i can very well use this formula okay half a b sine theta formula to get the answer and remember our a is equal to okay let me write it here because we have only a small space so this a is 12 b is 15 and theta is going to be no doubt theta is going to be 60 degrees okay and if you feel that you are strong in formulas you are strong in trigonometry especially in using this formula you can very well go for this itself to get the answer very easily so we can go for half into a is 12 b is 15 into sin 60 degree is it or not because theta is 60 so sine 60 degree so half into 12 into 15 into what about sine 60 degree it's going to be root 3 by 2 is it or not so root 3 by 2 so now what we can do is i can just cancel this 12 with these two twos okay so 2 and 2 it's exactly how many times it is it's three times right why because two twos are four so i can just cut this four with 12 for three times so 3 into 15 into root 3 is what you are left with so 3 15s are 45 and this root 3 centimeter square is going to be the answer for this question super cool answer right okay so again we are getting the same answer but just we are just use some two three steps we are getting the answer here very easily fine okay so i hope this problem was really helpful for you this is as i told this is going to be a very basic problem only but this will help you to this kind of constructions i made in the conventional way that will help you to just extend your thinking ability okay fine yes this is how aspirants used to extend their thinking ability so whenever something is incomplete given in the question you can just extend it to improve your thinking that will help you to get more ideas in solving the problems okay especially in geometry and mensuration this will be really helpful for you to do the problems that's the reason i've just shown into conventional method and if you're feeling that you are advanced in knowing the formulas trigonometry all these things you can really use this cool method shortcut method to get the answer for this question yeah okay yes and as usual any doubts you can post in the comment box and if you feel that this session was useful for you please give a like and if you feel that this will help any of your friends please do share this video to your friends also again in the next session we'll catch up with some other interesting question see you soon there thank you so much